FCS game at Missouri State. I guess touch on that and then uh, kind of now revamping for a totally different team and FBS opponent this weekend. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously disappointed in the loss. Um, you know, the, the good things we'll, the, we'll take out of the opportunity that, that we um, – from the game and we'll grow from. I mean, thought the kids competed really well. That was a good college, you know, good college football game. Um, you know, offensively, you know, Dresser win, I thought, played really well at the quarterback position. I thought he looked very, uh, very calm, very under control. Uh, there was very few um, non-winning plays by him. And so that was that was very encouraging and excited about that. You know, Colton Dowell, Tank, um, you know, made some plays for him, and he was able to find open guys, and and we gave him enough time to throw. But he was really getting the ball out, you know, quick, even though they were in the in the, in the drop back or play action families. So um, you know, that was good to see. Hopefully, he can build upon that. Um, you know, disappointed offensively, run game wise. Um, you know, and that's credit to to. Uh, Missouri State, give them credit with that. They did a good job up front, their linebackers and support. Uh, you know, normally some games that we don't run for 100 yards uh, don't end up going our, our, our way. Uh, but I think we scored five out of nine drives, even though one time we had to settle for a field goal. So that was um, a little bit disappointing there. Um, you know, defensively, there's some really good plays. There's some good plays by, you know, John Ford, and there's some good plays by the rest of the, the, rest of the defense. Uh, but you know, just need need more of them. And once again, that give credit to to um, Missouri State from the standpoint of uh, put us in some big you know big personnels, and we played zero coverage. And uh, you know, we if we make the play there, um, you know, we get off the field. And they made the play, and and and, and we didn't. But we competed well. Good game. You know, uh, come up. You know, one more one. One more play on either side of the ball. Uh, you know, obviously didn't didn't perform very well on kickoff cover unit. Um, you know, kickoff return wasn't what it needed to be. Uh, you know, as well. So certainly those are two units we need to improve on. But uh, I was proud there. We you know we came back, scored late. You know, made a game out of it. Uh, you know, with a chance to get the onside kick and came up short. So when you go on the road and they don't, you know, the, the I guess they did turn it over one time there at the goal line. Uh, which doesn't show up as a turnover, right, because it was on fourth down. But that was a good play by Nante Davis and good good stand by our defense to make them take four downs to be able to get it in and to get the stop. So, you know, I was pleased from that. So, you know, disappointed with the loss. Um, appreciate the guys and their, and their preparation during the week and and uh, how we went, you know, on the road and, and competed. And once again, we won that game last year but with six turnovers. I think we played better the other night offensively, but, uh, you know, didn't get as many short fields, and and um, which I think we could have got a short field uh, with the turnover. You know, would have been able to score some more points. So anyway, transition into this week, and uh, you know, certainly a tough challenge for us. Play a quality Boise State team. We've been out there before, 2013, but none of these. I think uh, probably Coach Bannon's the only one that was with me on that trip back in 2013, and and so a uh, good experience for the kids. Uh, you know, tough opponent. Uh, you know, to to take one more non-conference opponent before we get into the conference schedule when we return home. Were you surprised at the, like a better term, inability to not establish the run in this Missouri State? Uh, yeah. You know, we've been used to custom to running the ball, you know, pr pretty well. We lost our, you know, De uh, Demarius Warren early in the game, and so uh, that played some impact of it. And then uh, right tackle uh, went down, Lamar Morgan, during the game, and, and our center, Hatchie, had to go out there to right tackle, you know. So that didn't help the situation for sure. That's that's tough for those kids to be able to, to, to do that, and I think that played in it. I also think, you know, we only had 20, uh, what is it, 24 or 26 attempts. Uh, but a lot of those were because Dresser, with the, with the, you know, with the the way they were playing us in their soft zone coverage, was taking some throws on the perimeter that were tagged to those runs. So that would, you know, you probably would have got to your 30 plus run runs, which you know, um, could have got you over your you know 100 yard mark. Doesn't mean we got more yards, but we'd been looking at the statistics, maybe a little, maybe a little bit different. So, uh, you know, when you play a four man front, uh, you know, there's some. Uh, and they're active, and, and there was, like I said, there's some good clips, but there's also some clips where one guy 
um, you know, didn't they didn't execute kind of it like it needed to be, and therefore the run was a, a, a muddy two yard run instead of a, you know, six yard run. I know you've had the week one opponent that you really didn't know a whole lot about. Mm-hmm. Week two, you can probably get a little better grade and then measuring mm-hmm. how your team can can compete against some of the nations of the league, which is what your, your mm-hmm. ultimate goal is to be. Is that what you saw out of, out of your team? In, in some aspects, yeah. Some in some aspects, you um, you know were were very you know pleased, and some confidence should have been built uh, or built through that process. There's probably some other things that are um, you know concerning and. Uh, you know, with a couple offensive linemen going out during the game, that's tough. Uh, that that's that's tough. Um, you know, and then you know, the receiver's a good player for him. You know, and uh, we're going into that. Okay, got to stop him and and stop the quarterback from you know getting out of the pocket. I thought the defense did a very good job keeping him in the pocket. I think he had one run for just a couple yards, but we didn't stop the receiver and. And uh, now, there, like I said, there was a couple times we ended up in man coverage against him, and, and he made the play. So, uh, you know, you learn from that, and then you hope the next time you get an opportunity that to play a little bit better technique uh, in some of those man coverage situations and, and, and compete a little bit better. New rules kick off in college football the last two years. It seems like everybody's been lulled in sleep with just taking the ball at the 25. Mm-hmm. You face two opponents two weeks mm-hmm. in a row that will return kickoffs and, and will take that extra chance. I think we're seeing the pendulum swing back in college football returning kicks on the kickoff. I think it just has to do with your with the main thing is the kicker. You know, we all want a guy that can kick in the end zone so you don't have to cover and you go out there and play defense at the twenty five or um, you, you know, and if they kick it deep in the end zone then, you know, you, you fair catch it and, and you take it at the twenty five. So you know, early in the season, my philosophy has been uh, this year is, hey, let, let's let's get that unit some work and let's see what we can do. Uh, and ex- and especially when you're down, you know, if you can, you know, that's another offensive play. So, uh, you know, we'll keep seeing, you know, if we improve on that. Uh, we didn't do a very good job the other night. I mean, Sam Franklin had a good return, got it out, you know, close to midfield and helped us score that time. And, and that's why I let him, you know, bring it out. But we didn't, we didn't block anybody. It was a great individual effort and, and he came out of it. But, um, you know, where it gets discouraging, and it's not just us. I mean, I've watched some quality opponents this weekend that, you know, try to return them and get a penalty, and they start, you know, start the drive off at the, you know, 10-yard line. So um, it, it's a it, – the, the kicker plays a huge part in that of, of, you know, if he's got a lot of height, you know, then they're able to cover, and then that's where the holding calls come from and stuff. So um, that, those kickers are valuable. Going into – this matchup, what have you really seen from Boise on, on either side of the ball to really kind of compare for them? Yeah, I mean, you know, they played, you know, two, uh, you know, Oregon State being a, you know, Pac-12 team, and, you know, that was a physical, tough game, and then they got the win this week and were really dominant uh, for over three quarters, you know, on defense. So, you know, there, there's some matchup uh, things that concern you with, you know, the bigger bodies and, and, and things, and then they've got good schemes, you know, good coaches uh, to, to go with it. So. Uh, you know, you, you and this is certainly no discredit to them, but you, 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 when you go to games like this, you're trying to, to, and we do it mostly every week. You know, we don't, you know, what gives our our players the best chance to uh, to make a play? What gives our guys with our ability the best opportunity to be successful? And you know, you don't, you, you see what the screen says, and you say, okay, that's probably not a good formation or a good defense for us. You know, um, and then. And then you go from there. So we'll spend most of our time this week on on ourselves and 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 get our guys ready to go. What are some of the things offensively you think you can do against boys to advance the ball down the field? <laughs> well, you want me to just call them, and give them the game plan? <laughs> 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 uh, you know, uh, no, that's that's. I mean, it's. W- w- our philosophy is this, you know, what are you going to take away from us? You know, what will you allow us to do? And uh, we never go into a game saying, oh, we're going to throw it 40 times or 50 times. I hadn't done that either either, either game. You know, oh, we're going to run it 50 times. You know, just you, you, you practice, okay, this is what they've shown at this point. Okay, how can we attack, you know, run, play action, you know, drop back. You know, what can we do? And then I call the game accordingly from there. Saw so DJ Nelson get his first kind of – taste of success yeah. with that touchdown. Uh, you have some other guys that stepped up and, and played big roles. How important is it for 
young guys like that to fill that position, yeah. especially at tight end where you're trying yeah. to run about three guys. Today. Yeah. No, uh, we're, we're excited about those tight ends. I mean, there's several young guys in that group, and there's probably more guys than we've had in several in depth in several uh, years, but there's a lot of growth that's got to take place at that position. But I was happy for DJ to he, he needed some positive um, some positive plays to happen for him, uh, and, and he's very skilled, uh, you know, on the perimeter in the pass game, and, and he knows this. But he's got to improve his blocker in order for us to give him more snaps and stuff. And um, you know, he's he's working on it. He's made some strides, but he's got a long way to go. But I was very pleased to. To see him be able to contribute, and uh, hopefully he'll continue to grow in that role. Colton Hill was over two thousand receiving yeah. yards. He's talking about his body of work in the time. Yeah. He's been here. Well, it's just been um, you know on Saturdays, um, you know he just he just makes plays and and you know. I don't know if we went in that game the other night. Well, I know we didn't. Uh, saying, okay, Colton's got to get the ball. You know, he's got to get targeted 10 times. Uh, you know, because we, we play some teams and they'll bracket coverage him and the ball's got to some, go some other place. And and because, uh, you know, now we've got some, some you know, with tank, Tanks and Smoot and Zoe, I mean, there's some other guys that can go up and make some plays. So uh, it just had to happen the other night. But, you know, concerning Colton and his. Um, you know, just his loyalty to the program. He's just done things the right way. His parents are awesome. They've been great supporters of the, of the program, and he's just a he's a graduate of here, and just have a lot of dependability. And uh, just can't say enough about uh, just the person that he is. And he's just really um, he he's you know uh, he, we've had a lot of you know from Peyton Logan to Jalen Moore. Uh, to Donald Chapman, there's just a lot of good players that you know played here for a long period of time, and him getting his sixth year. There's even longer, you know, you've been with him, you know, a year longer than most, and you know, so uh, it, it's really neat to see him. I hope he breaks every record in there, and and y'all put him in the Hall of Fame, you know, very soon after he graduates.